This is question 18. College Board is asking for a probability from a table, as they often do, in particular the probability that tab tablet user answered always, given that the tablet user, user did not answer never. So this probability has a numerator, which is the successful outcomes, the always, which is 0 0.309 is 30.9 percent, and a denominator, which is all outcomes we're considering. And since it's given that the user did not say never, it's everything else, which is 1 minus 0.313, or you can write it as 0.243 plus 0.135 plus 0.309. And you can go either direction, but I'm going to go with the numbers directly from the table because that's often safer. And if I add 0.243 plus 0.135 plus 0.309, and hopefully I wrote this correctly, 243, 135, 309, and that's everything except never, which is what we wanted. That's a denominator of 0.687, and our numerator is 0.309. Our successes over the total number of outcomes under the words of the question is the probability we're looking for. And 0 0.309 over that answer is 0.4498, which is 0.45. College Board often asks for a probability from a table, and they do get much more complicated. They may have more than one row or more than one column or some combination thereof. And you could have a denominator that's either rows or columns or both. So always read these very carefully, practice them before your SAT, and come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.